It's been said that politics is easy and comedy is hard. Author Terry Fallis has done both. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Fallis about his novel of political satire, The Best Laid Plans. Can you just give us a brief synopsis of Best Laid Plans? It's really a satirical novel of Canadian politics and it begins with a jaded and disillusioned speechwriter for the leader of the opposition and he finally decides he's got to break away from this strange world of politics and he's left with one last task and that is he must find a liberal candidate to run in the safest conservative riding in the land and then run the campaign because there's an election coming. He manages to find someone, it's his landlord and engineering professor, 60 some odd years old who's a bit of a curmudgeon and he agrees to let his name stand in return for something the narrator will do for him. So, And then it, the fun kind of unfolds from there. Why do politics and comedy go so inextricably together? I think humor can be a powerful way to shape public perceptions and to change behavior. And whenever you have power-hungry politicians fighting one another for scraps of territory and share of voice and, and votes, uh, there's plenty of room for, for humor in all of that. Now that you've done both comedy and politics, which would you say is more difficult? Making people laugh through the written word is, is always uh, a challenge. I think it's easy to, easier to make people feel tension, to make them feel angry, to scare them. I think to make them laugh through the written word is, is a little more challenging. Well, thank you very much. Thanks so much.